These are more than nine churches built in 1114 AD by the Zen Ethiopian king Lalibela. They are famously known as Rokhion Church and were chiseled out of a single rock. This is our earthly Jerusalem. There was no cement or other modern construction method used to make this. It doesn't even have bricks to build it. It's all in all made by hands of God, and so we call it the land of resinousness. Normally, any construction is done from bottom to top. But this one is amazingly done from top to bottom, and it's 900 years ago. From the descriptions of all the churches that we visited today, I find it very impressive. It's very rich in culture, and it's also you can see that even the local people, how they are passionate about the, the cultural asset that they have, that they've been able to be good custodians in helping to preserve and protect something that is magnificent for the world to enjoy. Lalibela is one of Ethiopia's great holy cities. It's famous around the world for its unique and stunning collection of monolithic churches carved right into the rock below your feet. And the Ethiopian Minister of Culture and Tourism wants to market it as a tourist destination. And our transformation uh, plan goes in the transformation plan. We planned to reach uh, 1 million tourists in, in next year, means 2007 Ethiopian calendar. So to arrive at that uh, plan, we are really working very hard at different level, at federal, at regional level, as well as mobilizing uh, private sector and uh, other stakeholders. Lalibela's popularity is attracting investors in the hospitality sector. Investors like Suzanne from Scotland have partnered with an Ethiopian entrepreneur to open Lalibela's finest restaurant. I've got 40 staff, we're all 20 year olds from Lalibela. So it's giving people employment, giving people a training, you know, and that is something which is important. And we're always trying to just up, up, up the service we're giving. Now, if we can do that, that's going to bring more tourists into Lalabella and that's going to help everybody. Everybody will be winners. Being a World Heritage site, the churches have a massive place in Ethiopia's history and country's civilization. Uh, being registered by UNESCO as a World Heritage site, it's very important because those sites get international attention and international recognition. So we already registered uh, around 10, 9 in tan tangible and the one in tangible heritage recently. We have 10 uh, and the plus literatures, around 12 literatures are registered. Grumjala CCTV, Lalibela, Ethiopia.